What's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. As always, when a manufacturer or a retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, this is a sponsored review. So, this review is actually, is actually really cool. Now, summertime is coming up. If you have a backyard, you know, you're doing little parties, little, uh, you know, uh, summer events or whatever. But then at night, uh, everybody has to go back into the house. There's nothing else to do. If you want to go watch TV, you got to go back in unless you already have a TV outside, which is an outdoors TV or whatever. But um, I have done reviews like this in the past, and it's basically a projector. So this is the Vivid Bright. I mean, it's huge. The box is huge. Check that out. Um, so this is called the Vivid Bright F30 projector. Now... I'm going to read some of the stuff right off the box here. So we got Full HD 1080p. This one has the sound for Android, but I don't believe this is the one that has the Android um, uh, software installed. I think that's a different version. I think the boxes are sort of like generic boxes. HDMI, of course. It projects up to 120 inches, so that's pretty big. Um, it does have USB plug and play, so if you have an, a USB with like movies, music, or what have you, you can just plug it into the projector and you should be able to hear it or, you know, see it, whatever it is. It does have WPS, Keystone, which is actually um, the way for you to fix the image when the image is like, you know, um, doesn't fit or it doesn't look right. I should say, um, you know, when you have this angle and let's say you have the projector pointing from the bottom up. You can fix the image so it looks like it's straight up on the on wherever you're projecting it. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna project it back on this on this wall. I know it's, it's black. I mean it's uh, it's, uh, it's I'm sorry, not black. It's <laughs> it's blue. Um, I'm hoping that that won't that won't really matter. Uh, maybe I'll throw up the projector screen. I'm not sure. So we'll see. Um, it does have ten. Um, excuse me, fifty thousand let um hours. Um, and it has a quick and on and off button. And it does have stereo sound now that's what i'm really really interested in because on most of, most of these projectors when they come the speaker is so small in is that if you have it in a backyard you can't hardly hear anything so this claims to have a high five stereo speaker we're going to be checking that out so why don't we go into the review here and i can barely fit this on my table which is so huge anyway so here's some other stuff i forgot to mention of course you connect the tablet smartphone laptop a game, um, a Fire Stick or a Chrome Stick, um, of course a Roku, Apple TV, we might actually connect the Apple TV, digital camera, DVD player, wherever you have that has an HDMI you can connect it to this bad boy. Um, so let's go into the unboxing, let's see if we can get this stuff on the cam, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this on camera, so uh, yikes, okay here we go, so this is the power supply and remote and maybe the instructions and it's pretty okay it's fairly simple packing it's not much else to it so let's see what we got and here's the unit now the unit is actually pretty light it is pretty light so um let's, let's talk about some of the features here so um on the side here oh, i'm sorry not on the side on the back here you have your um your power button Obviously, your plug-in button, and it does have an, um, the infrared for the remote here in the back. If you want to plug in, um, let's say, bigger speakers, I'm not really sure what you would need to do that because uh, apparently this is really loud. We're going to be testing that. You could plug them in right here. Um, it does have a uh, digital sound that you can plug in, the HDMI port, and you have two USB ports. I'm not sure if they're um, USB 2 or 3s, but I think they're probably most likely they're USB 2. Um, here you have your buttons that you can control manually without, um, not manually, but uh, locally without the remote. So all your all your controls that are in the remote, they're back here. Um, here on the side is where you will focus and you will fix the keystone, which we're going to be trying out. And of course, in the front, Vivid Bright. And this version is uh, actually the F30, like I said. And this is where the lenses so there it is so we're going to be plugging this bad boy in and we're going to be testing it out um and i'll let you guys know uh, what i think i mean uh, i'm going to try to project it in this wall back here and i'm going to try to do it without um the screen and see how that looks and if it doesn't look that good then i'll throw up the screen so as i thought setup was super super easy i mean uh, basically you got your <laughs> your power supply you plug it in right in here uh, hold on, there it is. You plug it in right in here and you're all set. Now, 
I'm gonna plug in an Apple TV that I have lying around here. So I got this Apple TV I'm gonna be plugging in. Um, might as well. And here's my cable. And I plug it right in here. Now, it does bring a remote, like I mentioned before. It does have a remote. And, but the remote doesn't have any batteries, so you need a couple of AA batteries, excuse me, AAA batteries. It does have a manual, um, which I don't think you really need to read because this is pretty straightforward. And it does bring this little um, a handkerchief to clean the lens, so you should keep that in a safe place. So why don't we turn this bad boy on, and we might have to turn off the lights to see what we got here. So let's do that. Let's flip the camera. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how, how much of the screen I'm going to be able to get on there. But let's pop this bad boy on. So I, I guess the speaker is up all the way because it does do that, um, that uh, sort of like startup sound and it's super duper loud. So um, now we're starting up. Let me maybe I'll bring this down a little bit here. Let's see what it looks like down here now. Let's bring it up just a smidge. So there it is. This is my Apple TV. Now keep in mind, okay, just so you guys are watching this, I have my camera light on and um, it's on a blue wall. It's not on a white you know like a screen or what have you that you will actually put this on and look how sharp it looks already now I know a lot of people on Amazon have complained about why does it look blurry it is a simple simple fix on the left side of the projector there is a button which you could basically fix it you know it's you know it's out of focus look I'm gonna put it out of focus now you know I'm gonna turn off this light so you guys can see better let's turn this light off all right there it is um, and it's out of focus and it's really simple to put it into focus you you know you do the manual um, focus with your finger here let me see if I could do this without moving everything around and look look how simple it is to put it into focus and of course you got your keystone when you when you project it from the bottom when you project it from the top let's make sure it's super focused there it is this is super sharp I love the way this looks now I do have my little handy remote here and I'm gonna try to put something on that is not gonna give us a a hit so maybe let's look for one of my videos I think that's the easiest way let's go into YouTube of course this is Apple TV whatever you install in your Apple TV um, this will come out I wish I could bring this up just a smidge so you could get a better view now this is a um, of course few full HD 1080p so basically um you know uh, the, the, the image is amazing it looks super duper sharp so let's see what let me look for something really quick here Let's look for one of my one of my videos in my channel and like that I know I won't get a hit. Uh, here we go. So why don't we just play my I guess we could play my last video. I think we could do that. Uh, yes, so let's do the last video here. Now what I want you guys to keep in mind is the sound. Now right now the sound is up at about three. And it's super duper loud now here. Like I said, you can fix it is super duper loud. Now, right now, look, that's that's zero. This is one. two, um this three tech four um thin more light bulb. And um, this version is the A19, which actually in the nineteen you can use it in the bathroom, you can have this actual I think this is one of the best features of the actual unit. Now let me let me just go back to the home here of the unit. so you can see where um the settings are. So I, of course you got English, you got picture mode medium, temperature, as, uh, aspect ratio. Um, you could change that of course to auto and it'll, it'll, it'll figure out which is the right one. I just have it to just scan, it's the easiest way. 
Um, let's go back to the menu. Now, here's the surround sound. Now, you could turn this off and just have regular sound. The regular sound sounds like this. Oops. Uh oh, of course, we have the flip button right on the remote, which is actually really handy. Uh, let me just get out of there and let's put up the sound uh, and the shot. And I also have my phone here. Uh, hold on, let's get the phone in the so shot. Right now, now, this is I'm regular not sound. The instructions only because I know how, how you know most of these things. Regular sound. But if you go into the menu and you change it to um, let's go quick test, make sure it's working. Uh, um, I'm sorry, to the S S T X sound, it is super duper loud, and I love it. Sorry, I keep hitting this flip button here. I'm just gonna go ahead, open it up, the very sync app, and Let's just go into the sound here. here. Press plus. You got a sound mode. Look for lighting. You could make it surround oh, sound. The Look at this. Now remember, you have super duper loud. So the surround sound works pretty well, but I mean, I think the best sound is the one in between. So I'm gonna just make the standard sound. Now, the, like I said, there is not much to the actual unit other than it works the way it's supposed to work. I love the fact that you could um, basically you have to, you could play whatever you want on this unit. You know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. It's just plug and play. Now it's blinking, it's gone, there it is. And look at the image. Now, again, yeah, keep in mind, thing. my you know, camera is an okay camera. Um, my eyes and see something much like better than what it's showing in the actual video. Um, the image is super so tight, that. super quality. So the sound works really well. I mean, that's my, my, my main, I thought that was my main. Now the sound is pretty good. I mean, that's, I thought, that up to, for me, when, it, when you have a projector that you're going to use outside in a backyard, sound is the number one thing because you're going to be in an outdoor area where um, unless you could pl plug in some speakers where then you have to add something else to the projector, um, it's useless. Sound is what makes a projector a projector a good projector, in my opinion. Now, this particular projector, like I said, it does have a button on here that says Android, but I'm assuming that's because there's a version of it. See, I, I'm pressing the button there. Um, there's a version of it that has Android already built into it, which might be the right thing to do because if you get an Android version of this, then you could download, you know, um, Optimum app. You could download uh, uh, Spectrum. You could download um, Amazon Mu Amazon Video, what have you, and everything that you need will be in one unit. Um, again, this unit does not have um, Wi-Fi. It does not have uh, networking cap capabilities, but I would imagine maybe the F40 or the F50 will have those capabilities built into it. I did try this outside, and it works amazing. Now, I wasn't able to get video for it. some reason. I, I just kept watching it. I, I never recorded a video, but I did that last night. So. What I can tell you is, guys, if you're looking for a projector for your backyard, for your summertime parties, um, that is cheap, not cheap in quality, but cheap in price, I definitely recommend the Vivid Bright F30. Now, like I said, if you want something with the Android version, I believe the F40 or the F50 are the ones that have that already built into it. Um, as you can see, it's super easy to, to you know get started. You know, it doesn't take a genius. Now, you know, if you have a kid, um, that you, you know, you, you want to project his Xbox on a huge wall, you could do that. And sound. So you don't have to worry about the sound. You don't have to worry about adding speakers on the side or next to it, what have you. It works really nice. I'm really impressed with the, with the projector. Um, if I have a coupon code, which I might have a coupon code, I'm going to leave it in the descriptions. Um, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the Vivid Bright F30 projector. Um, works like a charm. Thanks for watching, guys. You've been watching LGTV. I am Juan Granos. You can find me on Instagram, Los Granos. You can find me on Facebook, Los Granos. You can find me on YouTube, Los Granos. You can find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.